Hi guys and welcome back to our On The Move career mode. Now before we get into it, I do need to quickly address something I haven't uploaded for a good four or five days now. And for those of you who do follow my Instagram, you'll already know why I was away for a little bit because normally I do like to upload every other day, so every couple of days I will normally upload. I'm normally quite strict with that. But last weekend I felt ill, I was really, really ill. Um, pretty much just a serious case of the man flu. But um, I haven't been well whatsoever. I'm still not quite 100% yet, but I'm getting withdrawals from YouTube. <laughs> so I thought, right, I'll give it a go and I'll uh, come back today. So again, I apologise for that and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys who were wishing me well and saying get well soon and stuff like that. It was uh, it was really, really nice. So now I'm a little bit more refreshed and we are going into today's episode and it's a massive one because first of all, of course, we have a game against Barcelona, Real Madrid Barcelona. It's the first time we're playing them in this series, or, or season at least. Uh, Barcelona are currently third. They're three points behind us. So with a win, we could stretch our lead. Or with a loss, Barcelona could uh, become joint top of the league, depending on how Atletico Madrid do as well. So in this episode, we do have the month of December to get through. We will probably play the... Well, we are going to play the Barcelona game. We'll play the Rayo game and the Malaga game. And then these three will be simulated, which of course would take us to the January transfer window. And you guys know the drill by now. So in this episode, you will have to write down, or sorry, comment below and let me know who you think we should sell and who you think we should buy. Selling will be the priority because as you can see, we only have 22.78 million and a decent wage budget, I suppose. But to buy someone who's going to make a real influence or a real impact on this team... We're going to need a bit more money than that, quite considerably. So you guys, let me know who you think we should sell. I'll quickly now go through the squad uh, before we get into the game, just so you're familiar with who we have. I'll just quickly run through it. I won't name them all and stuff like that. You can just have a look or pause the video uh, if there's anyone there that sticks out for you. And then you can comment who you think we should get rid of. We have a massive team, a lot of strength in depth. Uh, a lot of youngsters, though, and a lot of prospects as well. Um, but obviously in the last uh, transfer window we did purchase Dybala who was currently injured and there he is, he's returning in four months, that's pretty much the end of the season so we need money really to replace him because we need an out and out striker as we'll see because in this game against Barcelona we've had to mess around with the team quite a lot I didn't realise that the game previously to this game against Barcelona it was really really close so half the team are exhausted. So I've had to use a few players that I might not have wanted to. I've had to put Ronaldo as the striker because Mayoral, his fitness is really, really low. And Bappi on the left rather than the right. And Vasquez on uh, the right as well. So we've got Modric, Asensio and Casemiro in the middle. We've got pretty much exactly the same back four bar Varane because his fitness is really low as well. So we've had to put Vallejo there. Navas in goal, obviously. So let's get into it. Let's hope this time off that I've had hasn't affected the way I'm going to play FIFA because we were on a bit of a roll before I went off sick. So let's get into it. Come on. And here we are, guys, up against our arch rivals, Barcelona. This will be our most difficult task yet. Can we get ourselves away? And I hope we can. And can Ronaldo do a job up top on his own? Come on, lads. Here's Asenjo, straight away Asenjo, he's a straight into the crotch of PK. Ronaldo with the strike, and it's a good save from Ter Stegen. Knocks it over for Casemiro, he takes a touch around his man, he strikes one as well, and it's another good save. We've started off on the front foot here, really pinning Barcelona back. It's a decent ball in and headed away. Thrown in towards Ronaldo, flicks it to Modric. Outside the area, he does strike one, and it's a simple save for Ter Stegen. We've already got three or four shots away in this opening 15 minutes. Here is Lionel Messi, though, now. For the first time, he's on the ball, and we know how dangerous he can be. Come on, keep up with him, keep up with him. That'll do. Well played. Get it out. Nice defending, lads. Oh, no, and Ronaldo is down. I'm hoping it isn't too serious. I can't deal with Ronaldo and Ibola being out. As well. Get out to him. Get out to him. Well in Marcelo. Saving the day there. Here is Mbappe. Help him out. Give it back to Mbappe. He does strike one. And it's gone just wide. It was a wicked effort there from Mbappe. And it flew past that post. 
Come on, chase him. Keep him quiet. Oh no, he's come inside neatly. It's been blocked. Still Suarez in. His second effort was tame, but they do have themselves a corner now. First bit of pressure they've been putting on as boss in this game. It's been headed away. And there goes the half-time whistle, guys. A decent performance so far. I think Marcelo is doing an excellent job at keeping Messi quiet. They haven't threatened us too much, apart from a few minutes at the back end of that first half. They seemed to put us under a little bit of pressure. But other than that, I think we've dominated the game quite well. I'm hoping that Ronaldo's injury isn't too bad. He's still limping around. I think I should probably bring him off, but for who? There isn't really anyone... We don't have any other strikers. I suppose we can put Mbappe up up top. Who can I put on the left? There's only really Caballos who can play there. I'm pretty sure he... Yeah, he can play left mid, but he doesn't have much pace uh, whatsoever. I wouldn't think. No, he doesn't. But let's hope we can make do with this. Our injury crisis continues. We have a free kick now in a decent position. It's Lionel Messi. Dinks one in. Headed by Suarez. It has been blocked. Get your foot on it. Well played. Now where is Caballos? Hold it up because he doesn't have too much pace to burn. Carvajal knocks it on to Vasquez. This is lovely football now. It is Carvajal. He's still going. He's going to get caught up though soon. It's towards the back post and it's still in the box. Can Mbappe get his head on it? It's been punched away now. Barcelona get it clear. Oh, that is lovely play. Now it is Caballos. The substitute, he strikes one still in the box. Surely, it's gone in. It is 1-0. 63 minutes gone. And we've managed to get ourselves a goal. And it's Asensio who gets it. It's a scruffy goal. But it really doesn't matter. Since Ronaldo went off and Caballos has come on, he's actually been really, really impressive. And the team just happened to have played that little bit better. They put them under a lot of pressure. And it's finally paid off. We're in the league, guys. Oh, can we counter-attack now? It is Vasquez. He's not as fast as Alba, but Vasquez is bombing forward. It's still Vasquez, and it's in. It's 2-0. Barcelona went all-out attack. The second we went in front, and boy, are they going to regret that decision because Vasquez, it looks like he's just got us the winner. It's a lovely finish. It's a lovely run off the ball. He collects it, drives forward, and he smashes it into that bottom corner. 2-0. Come on. And the full-time whistle has gone, guys. It's another three points. It's a fantastic win. And I'm relatively surprised with Barcelona's performance, to be completely honest. I expected them to be a lot more difficult than that. Going forward, you can definitely tell the difference in quality in comparison to teams that we've played previously. But defensively, they're all over the place. As you can see there, we dominate in possession. Well, we beat them in possession. Plenty more shots than them. And it was just all around a really good performance for a team that is now being smashed with injuries. So we've just received the news that Cristiano Ronaldo is out for three weeks, which isn't horrendous by any stretch. It could have been a lot worse than that. So I'm not too worried anymore. I thought he would have said three months, which would have been really bad. But now we do have a run of games, which we are going to simulate. We're going to play Real Sociedad in the round of 32 in this tournament. So let's simulate this one. It is pretty much our reserve squad, although Vallejo and Ramos are in there. I kind of regret doing that, and we do lose 2-1. Doesn't really matter. I'm sure we'll get over it. We're still top of the league, which is the main aim. But now we do have Laganas in the league. It's another one we are going to simulate. It's another one where we're going to use a reserve team. But let's hope we can get ourselves a win in this one. The league is the most important thing. We do win 2-0. And Diaz, who I haven't used yet, he is a striker, a young striker. And he gets himself a couple of goals in that one. So that will put him in good stead for the next couple of games. Because we might even have to use him, depending on Mayoral and his fitness as well. And now we have a third and final uh, simulated game of this episode against Basel in the Champions League. And I've just checked we're actually third. I haven't checked the points total. So hopefully this one here, the 2-1 win, Diaz gets himself another goal. Hopefully that keeps us in that tournament. But again, it isn't our priority. But no, we have been knocked out of the Champions League. One point away from qualification. Arsenal and Zenit do go through in our group. But I can't repeat it enough. We, it doesn't really matter. The... Uh, the cups and the tournaments like that but now we do have two remaining games of this episode we are playing Rayo right now and the league is still looking really good in our favor we're still two points clear uh, ahead of Atletico Madrid and six points clear ahead of Barcelona so let's see what squad we can put together 
Now, Mbappe, I'll put him as a striker. That's fine. As a left winger, uh, we'll probably put... Uh, oh, Caballos, we can't because he's... His fitness isn't fantastic, so this is going to be a difficult one. Can Hernandez play there? He can't. I'll actually just put Asensio there, and I'll bring Isco into the squad. And I think that is the team we're going to have to go with against Rayo. It should be good enough. I'm more than happy with that. It's still a very strong squad. So, let's get into it. And here we are, guys, back at the Bernabeu, welcoming Rayo. Let's hope we can add... Another three points to our tally. Our runner form recently has been great despite the injuries that we have had. The whole team are really stepping up for us. And here's Modric opening up with a long effort on goal. And it's a decent save or an easy save for the keeper. Gets it out wide for Vasquez. Nicely done by Mbappe. Still headed, still in goal. And there we go. It is Mbappe who gets to it. It's a lovely finish. Nice football, and it is 1-0. Played out to Vasquez, he dinks it to the back post. The header was messed up quite severely, but it does fall nicely for Mbappe to just poke it in and put us in the lead. Come on. Whipped in. It's away. For us, Modric. Vallejo. Vasquez. Nicely done. Still Vasquez. Still Vasquez. Gets it in, and it's a save at the near post. Headed, and it's over the bar. Looped over the bar from Sergio Ramos. And the second half is underway. We've truly demolished and dominated in that first half. We could easily have been five or six goals to the good. But it's just through a lack of poor finishing, really, that it's holding us from that scoreline. But now straight away we do have Mbappe. He tries to flick it in towards this goal. Been cut out. Oh, they've made a bit of a mistake here, and it is Mbappe. You can't let him through. It's still Mbappe. Killing Mbappe. It's a great save from the keeper. Headed still. Surely it's gone in. It's 2 0. And I think that should be game over now. And it is Isco who gets himself a goal. 53 minutes gone. We've came out playing exactly the same as we did in the first half. Just dominating the game, dominating the ball. And we do bundle the ball over the line through Isco, and it's 2 0. Still Casemiro. Casemiro with the effort and he's an absolute beauty. What a goal that was from Casemiro. Every couple of games he's popping up with a goal like that. It wasn't even the best of efforts but the power was just so strong that the keeper could not get himself behind it. What a goal. Drop of the shoulder coming inside the now and he's just absolutely smashed it from distance. The keeper had no chance whatsoever. What a strike son. 3-0 now. And they're breaking down the right-hand side now. Rayo, good chance. And Marcel dispossesses. But they've won it back immediately. And then we've won it back immediately. So now can we counter and get one last goal in this game? Is Asensio breaking forward? He's starting to drive inside now. Inwards towards Mbappe. Can Mbappe get there? And he's made a real mess of that. I don't know why he's chips it. But that is the full-time whistle. It's a brilliant performance. Auto domination. Probably the easiest game We've played so far this season. 3-0 didn't do it justice. I don't think they had one chance in that entire game. They did have one shot to R16. But it's another fantastic performance from the lads. So we've just got a notification that Tony Cruz isn't happy. We haven't used him as much as we probably should. But other players just happen to have played better than him when we have used him. So that is an option to maybe sell him. But again, that's completely entirely up to you. There's a lot of different things that you could suggest. It's just he is unhappy anyway. I just thought I'd read it out. But now we are going into this next game against Malaga, who are currently sixth. So they're not having an awful season by any stretch, but we are still two points clear at the top of the league. Barcelona have played a game extra, and we're still five points ahead of them, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's hope we can get ourselves another three points in this one. And here we are, guys, away from home against Malaga. I have restored Ronaldo back to line up because he has already returned from injury, which is fantastic. I've put Mbappe on the right-hand side and put Mayoral up top because now he is fully fit as well, which is absolutely fantastic because Mayoral, remember, coming to a decent streak of form. Every time we played him, he seems to grab himself a goal. And it's not just that. It's his hold-up play and his passing and his build-up play has been absolutely fantastic. He's a very different striker to what we already have at the club. So let's hope he can get himself another goal or at least a decent performance in this game. Oh, 
Now here is Ronaldo now, striding forward. Ronaldo is a great save and Mbappe can't quite get there. And that is the first attack or chance of the game. Both sides having a few nearly moments, but no shots have been had up until that point. And what a chance it was. Oh, that's a good touch from Ronaldo. Still Ronaldo, and that is 1-0. That's what we've been waiting for, to get Ronaldo in behind. And he gets himself a goal on his return from injury. That is what we've missed. And that is Ronaldo's sixth goal of the season, which really doesn't seem like much. I've said this before, but I never seem to have a player that stands out and scores 20-plus goals in a season. I always end up with a really varied amount of players. It's probably because I chop and change quite a lot. But still, it's a fantastic goal and we are ahead. And now the second half is underway. That first half was really, really dull. I think we only had a couple of chances and Malaga maybe had the one cancelling each other out, I think, here. They're just sort of sitting back, as you can see, all plays behind the ball and just waiting to pounce for us to lose it. Can we get ourselves a second and get ourselves a bit of distance between these sides? But here's Marcel straight away. He's dragged it and it's a good save. Oh, this is lovely football, though. Now we do break. We do have Mbappe in there. He gets it across goal. And surely now Ronaldo it is. It's 2-0. It took a wicked deflection straight into the path of Ronaldo. And he's not going to miss from six yard out. And he's just nodded it home to make it 2-0. That will do. And that should be another three points to add to our total. Go on, son. Get there first. And I think that was Mayoral's first chance. Of the game and he's blazed it over the bar. He's played very well linking up with players, which is his job really. But he hasn't had many chances at all, or that is his only chance. Here's Macedo coming down the right, whips it towards the back post. It's a free chance here, and they've spooned it, made a real mess of that. They're really starting to come at us now, Malaga. And there goes a the full time whistle, guys. We do manage to get ourselves a win. It's a very frustrating game, though, in the end. We didn't have anywhere near as many chances as we have been creating in the last couple of games. But we expected a difficult game and that's what we got. But we still managed to get ourselves three points. That'll do. Okay guys, so now it is the 1st of January. And it is time for you guys to leave your comments on who you think we should sell and who you think we should buy. Please make your priority a player to sell. Because like I said earlier, we do only have 22 million. So please don't just leave a huge player who's going to need a lot of money for because we're not going to be able to buy him. So give me an idea of who you think we should potentially sell and who you think we should potentially buy. But for now, this is going to be the end of the episode. We'll do a quick recap on the league table. As you can see, we are top of the league. We're on 42 points, just two points still ahead of Atletico Madrid. We're some way off from Barcelona, who are in third with eight points clear of them. At the bottom of the league, we have Deportivo, Arsasuna and Levante making up those relegation places but if you have enjoyed the episode guys please hit that like button for me it will be massively appreciated and subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sarni army the channel's instagram account is in the description below so be sure to follow that for early updates and upcoming content but for now you take care and stay jamming